Same question, what illustrates the claim? We gotta go to the passage to understand the claim. So Land of Enchantment is this book, I don't care. In the book, which describes the experience of traveling through the Southwest United States by train, that's not really the claim yet. Uh, Whiting reflects on the escape from everyday life that such a journey provides. So escape from everyday life. I feel like this time, maybe I only have the one idea that I'm looking for. In uh, previous questions, we've seen that there are like maybe multiple claims almost in the in the question. To me, I'm much more interested in that idea of a escape from everyday life. So uh, I don't know. Let's take a look. Maybe there is more. We can always get more if we need it because the passage isn't going anywhere. So let's look at A. The opportunities and advantages already offered and constantly increasing are greater than would at first be considered possible. So I guess the, the opportunities provided by the train but that's not escaping from anything, right? That's, or maybe it is, maybe it's an opportunity to escape, but I don't know, opportunity to escape? Uh, the fact that it doesn't say that, the fact that there's nothing strong in that choice that connects back to the idea of escaping from life, I don't know, maybe I'm stretching it. So this doesn't seem like a good option to me. If nothing else is better, I might pick it, but mm, I really wanna have that strong word that stands out in the choice and connects back to the claim in the passage. Let's look at B. The social and the picturesque charm of the long journey is singularly enhanced by the leisurely stops made for refreshment. This is just talking about why the train is nice. So yeah, no, I, I don't, that doesn't say anything about escaping anything. I mean, maybe again, we can say that like, oh yes, if you're enjoying the leisure of the train, then you've escaped from your everyday troubles. But I really love the lines to say that, not for me to have to interpret the lines. And this is this is why, you know, literature and poetry questions where you think, oh, I don't know, I've never read the book. I don't know. These are harder. You don't need the background, right? You shouldn't have to know anything beyond what's written explicitly on the page. So don't do a lot of interpreting. I don't, I don't see what we need there. So this is definitely wrong to me. C, the real journey begins, of course, at Chicago. And as these trains leave in the evening, the traveler fares forth in the seclusion of his birth. So seclusion, um, oops. Seclusion is definitely a word that relates to escape, right? So if, you're, if something is seclusion, secluded, it's kind of like um, uh, on its own. So the seclusion is kind of like the isolation. So I don't know what we're talking about here. Maybe that's escape. Um, it, again, it doesn't, it doesn't strike me as obviously a match, and, and I'd really like it to. So I'd probably leave it in and, and then go to D and see what we get. One experiences a certain sense of detachment from ordinary day and daylight duties that is exhilarating. I mean, it could not get any more obvious. A sense of detachment from ordinary day. Okay, it literally says in the passage, escape from everyday life. If you are escaping from something, you are detaching from it. You are getting away from it. And everyday life, ordinary day, I mean, oh my God, it's the same thing, right? So this is why, I mean, I, I did this kind of to make a point. But basically, all the talk that I did about choices A and C, especially, since we kept them in, was a waste of time. A waste of you, my time, for sure, but maybe not yours, because I want to stress to you that if I were taking this, on, uh, see, this see this question on an actual test, I would have just kind of read it and been like, eh, no connection, and kind of just moved on. I wouldn't have done this thing where I'm like, well, maybe it connects in this way. Maybe this is what they meant. That's just for your benefit to try to kind of show you, ah, maybe there's something to the choice. But in my mind, if it's not an obvious connection, I move on. I still would not have crossed out A and C. I would have left them in because maybe there is some deeper connection that I would need to tell a story and pull out. But hopefully I get to a choice where the connection is obvious before I have to do that, right? So that's my goal is I'm moving fast. I would have moved really fast through A, B, and C, gotten a D and be like, oh, that's definitely the answer. Never would have gone back to A, never would have gone back to C to see if like maybe there's some other way they're right. It's so obvious that D is correct that I would have just picked that and moved on. And so, you know, even though I, I do this for my videos, I really do think that a lot of what you need to be doing as you're sorting through choices is just like doing that quick dumb summary, that quick glance and be like, nope, doesn't fit. Yes, it fits. Or maybe, and I'll just leave it and worry about it later, right? The worry about it later move is so important. Like a lot of times you don't need to worry about it because you find the answer that matches much better. And then there's no later at all.